This is Rob Tunt for Boxing Social. Delighted to be joined by Tommy Fury for the very first time. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Tommy. Nice to meet you as well, Paul. How are you doing? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Just uh, cracking on, doing a bit of training here and there. Doing the best that I can do. So you're making your highly anticipated debut December the 22nd on the Warrington Frampton undercard. Just tell us a little bit about your, your kind of background. Obviously, we'll come on to the fact that you are a Fury later yeah. on, which is a, a, a significant part of your boxing background. Yeah. Um, but tell us a little bit about how you got started in the sport. You know what? I've been around it all my life uh, and no one's forced me into doing it. I didn't have to do boxing at all. I was just, I grew up watching the Rocky films, this and that, and I, grew, I f fell in love with the sport. You know, I got up every morning, four o'clock, running five miles every single day without failure. Five miles every single morning. And I fell in love with the sport and I've never looked back. Boxing is what, I, what I've always wanted to do and is what I'm doing now and uh, I'm making the best of it. And you get given these opportunities and you got to shine. Tell us about your experience before making your professional debut. Um, I never had a lot of amateur fights. I had 12 amateur fights. Uh, went to the national finals, won the Northwest um, area titles twice. You know, didn't do too bad. Won the novices. So it, it was all right, but I was never a big lover of the amateur sport because I feel like in the pros you can take your time and adjust more and proper sit down on your shots. The amateurs is a bit more point scoring, so you can't really sit down on your shots. So I feel like I've got a pro style and uh, I like that well to the pros. Tell me about what it's like with the name Fury in boxing. Um, right back from the very start, I mean, you've been surrounded by fighting men your entire life. How is, that an how is that as an environment to grow up in? Do you know what? You couldn't ask for any better, really, could you, in a boxing game? Um, grew up around it um, and I couldn't have asked for anything more. I've had the experience of Tyson, you know, but in my opinion, best heavyweight there's been in this era. Uh, because in the UE everyone's been around it and they've all done well um, and the experience I've got not just in the ring but around the ring watching how they train watching how they do certain things it's all led me up to this point and on in my career because I know I've got that in the bank now I've got that info in the bank so all I need to do now is take that and add it onto my game but having the name Fury it's uh, what, what more can you ask for really I mean it, the Fury is the name that everyone's, it's on the tip of everyone's tongue at the minute isn't it so but it is what it is. Names mean nothing. It's about how you do in the ring. Let's be honest about it. You could have Floyd May with his name, but if you're not worth a carrot, you're not going anywhere. Does that add any additional pressure, having the last name Fury? No, not at all. Like I said before, you is you, Tyson, Tyson, Tommy's Tommy. I'm going to do the best that I can do, and there'll only be one me. There'll only be one everybody, because you can't replicate anybody. I'm in this sport to be a world champion, because I'm not here to mess about. It's too hard of a sport to mess about. And I'm here because I believe I can be a world champion, and I believe I will be. What can we expect from you on December the 22nd? Obviously, you mentioned Tyson and, and Huey. They've got a very distinct boxing style. It's yeah. very it's very classical boxing. Is that yeah. the type of fight that you are? Um, I'm, you know, I, I can do that, but I believe in my power. So I can I can dance on the back foot, you know, like a ball ballerina, but I can also go forward like a bull, and you're going to see that. Um, come the 22nd of December. I feel like my style's a mixture of both and uh, I feel like I've got the equaliser so it's going to be, you're in for thrills. What weight are you going to be fighting at? Because as I understand it, you were significantly heavier not that long ago. What weight are you going to be plying your trade at? I'm fighting at light heavyweight. Um, you know, I've been up to 15 and a half stone in the past. It was 14 stone not long ago. Sport, I'm 12-12 now. I'm fit and ripped and ready to go. And uh, the bulky muscles behind me, you know, it's nice to have, but it doesn't do you any favours in boxing. So I'm in, I'm in fight shape now. What's it like training here? As you train out of the, of the Hatton gym, great camaraderie with everybody in the camp, everyone seems to bounce off each other. Yeah, you couldn't, couldn't ask for any better. I mean, I grew up Ricky, watching Ricky Hatton. You know, he's one of my all-time heroes. And to be trained by him, it, it, sometimes I wake up in bed and I think, I think, is this real? You know, the start that I've got, you know, it isn't given out much. So I'm going to take it with both hands. Uh, and I couldn't ask for any more. Thank, I thank you, Ricky, for everything he's doing for me, passing all the information on to me. I appreciate it largely. Do you have Tyson giving you bits of information? I mean, I would assume he would do, um, being as your older brother, he'd give you, give you little tidbits of information about how to work the pro game? Yeah, I mean, I think in a pro game, you've got to be very careful. You know, you've got to, you've got to choose wise moves and you've got to be real with yourself. You can't go and take fights that you don't belong in or just if you're doing it for the money as well there's, there's no point you've got to be in this for the titles and because you want it and the money will come but at the end of the day I think I've got I've got a 50 man's I've got a 50 year old's brain on a young man's shoulders because I've had a lot of knowledge passed down to me obviously my dad's a very knowledgeable man in the sport 
he's been in the sport a long time himself. So I feel like I've got a very, I feel like I've got the best team around me. Like I, it's not physically possible for me to go wrong other than that ring. But I, that's what I'm here for, to put the training in, get the hard work done and get the job done on the night. Now, Tyson is just a matter of weeks away from challenging for the WBC World Heavyweight title against Deontay Wilder. I won't be so foolish as to ask you for a prediction because I'm sure you're going to be going with Tyson, but just tell me what he needs to do in that fight and why you feel he's going to be victorious against Deontay Wilder. Uh, I feel like he's going to be victorious because I feel like he's got more skill than he, has, than he knows what to do with it. He's got too much skill for anyone out there. He's a throwback from the past. He can do it all. He's got everything. You know, he can box and move, he can punch, he can bang, he can do everything. And he's, I think he's going to outbox Deontay Wilder, but also he can't get carried away because Deontay Wilder still has that power in the late rounds, so he needs to be switched on for the full 12 rounds. It's, and it's a tough fight to take, but I wholeheartedly believe 1 million percent he's going to call him with that belt. And we're all very familiar with Tyson's kind of his journey throughout his career. How inspiring is that for you to see a family member go through what he's gone through and emerge in the position that he's in now? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I watch it and... It's just nice to see because he's grown, you know, he's grown up no different than I have. You know, he's the same as everybody else, and he, this is what he's made of himself. Uh, and it's just, it's just motivational to look up to and be think, if I if I put the work in, I could be in that position myself in ten years' time. So I couldn't ask. Well, who else would you want to look to than the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world? So I'm very grateful. Just give a message to fans before we go, Tommy. What can they expect to see when they see the latest Fury on the conveyor belt of Fury fighters step into the ring on December the 22nd in Manchester? Roller coaster ride. It's going to be thrills, spills, everything. Follow me at TNT. Follow me at Tommy TNT Fury on Instagram. You can see all the training videos, but be there or be square on the 22nd of December because it's the start of the journey and it's one not to be missed. Okay, well, I see you've also got the Fury way with words. Thanks very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Look forward to catching up with you and following your professional career. Thank you very much. Cheers. God bless. Thanks, mate.